what's good, man? Welcome back to another episode of Ben the Yards, yes, man. Sir. You already know it's the only podcast for the hood. From the hood, and man. Also told Sanger. Hey, what's good, you man? It's Swanny. And on today's episode, man, we have the stallion, bro. Hey. <laughs> this guy has ran up the ball for us. Polynesian songs, man. Bro. What did he say? He's uh he's a cultural leader, media yep. presenter, mentor. Author and a lifetime musician, bro. Come on so now. I had to read that out just so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone in the room, let's give a warm welcome to the Uso. How? How? Yeah, how? Lato yeah. Kefu, bro. Yeah, yeah. My man, bro. Uh, hey, it's a pleasure. Welcome, let's bro. go. Pleasure to, to have, uh, to be here with you boys. Thank you, oh, bro. bro. Thank and you, before thank before you we get into thick things, like, yeah. let me give you guys your flowers too. You know, thank uh, you, bro. I've been watching oh. for a while now since mm. the, the Knox. Yeah. I mean, I saw that. The Bender video is 50. Yeah, yeah, I went yeah. back to see, <laughs> yeah, yeah. what were they doing before? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, you know, just to see you guys evolve over the, and it hasn't been that long. Is nah, not long at all, years? No, not even two years. Year Under just, bit. yeah, a year and a bit. Yeah. yeah, you know, and just to see, you know, young people like yourself just, um, just do what you do, you know, like, Thank as you, an man. older guy, I'm yeah. like, man, that, that this is what things, we want to see. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, Familiar faces, our people in these spaces, and, and, and doing well. So yeah. yeah, congratulations to nah, thank you, man. To all you guys, thank you, bro. appreciate that, bro. Love and blessings, bro. Hey, but before we start, man, we just want to give a massive shout out uh, to someone very special that comes from a uh, mm. good night, man. He actually lost his life this week, man. So our uh, last week, yeah. So we want to. Give a massive shout out to uh, Tavita Soy, all my Vicks. Hey, we love you so. We love uh, and we appreciate everything you've done for the music scene from our area, bro. So from the boys from the West, uh, Castile Records, uh, to your family also, we love you, bro. And we're with you, man. So whatever you guys need, hit up this guy because I'm broke. <laughs> but seriously, massive love mm. to everyone um, out there. Yeah. Fighting battles, bro. Mm. It's not, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not weak to speak. So yeah. just reach out, touch someone, you know. Your story might be able to help someone out there. So yeah, massive love to the Soy family, Castile boys in the West, man. Yeah, fly high also. But uh, yeah, man. we're back, bro. Mad. How yeah. was um? How's everything, bro? How's life, bro? We man, life is um, life is kind of hectic. A good mm. hectic though. Yeah. You know, um, I just off the back of what you were just saying, like yeah, like you know when we lose one of our young ones, mm. you know it really hits us as a community. So you know I want to send my love and respects to. You. The family and the crew as yeah, well yeah. so um but you know as we say you know we like we mourn the death but we also celebrate life hundred you know, especially bro. for the ones that are still here you know yeah. like celebrate ourselves like we are doing today yeah, bro. yeah um so yeah life is life is good man you know uh I'm here. Yeah. The Band of Brothers, mate. Right? You know? <laughs> it's the peak. And it's all downhill from here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, his, his family's not going to see him till next week, bro. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. They're going to train now, bro. Yeah. Yeah, Big last time, last time you, I heard from him, he was at the Band of Brothers. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bro. Band of Brothers couch. That was the last time I heard from him. <laughs> now, nah, Matt, bro, speaking of life, bro, your life has been hectic, bro. We read for your hectic, bio, man. Yeah, bro, man. you've done everything, bro. You've, you've written a book. years in the industry, yeah, bro. bro. Like, you've written mm. a book. You've, um, you're have you doing presenting for a lot of you work for ABC, yeah. do all that stuff. Yeah, Triple bro, J, you're the hundred, host man. of the radio show there. Yeah. yeah. All of that stuff, bro. How, how do you, like, comprehend that, how much stuff you've done, bro, and obviously know, pass it mm. down to your, your son, bro? Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's hard because you you know as an ambitious person you kind of always wanted to do something you know like oh what's next mm, you know mm. and you often do things out of passion and yep. love you know and and you hope that the finance financial returns come yeah, at right. some point yeah yeah but you know yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> please please yeah, yeah, um, sure. but yeah it's just ambition you know just I just I actually love what I do yeah you know and I know you boys would be able to relate to that because you know. You'd probably be doing this if you weren't getting paid, yeah. right? Or, or any kind of financial gain or some gain in you know in another form. But yeah, you know, actually writing the book has allowed me to to look back on a lot mm. of things because before that, I was just going, going, going. What's mm. next? What else can I do? Who else can I connect with? Mm. Who else can I bring up? But then the book actually made me sit back and and you know, big up to Christopher Riley. He's the the co-author. And I talked to him a lot about old stories and things that I achieved. And and it actually made me realize, like, oh, shit. I actually have done a lot of stuff. Because, yeah. you, know, you know, we don't really sit around tooting our own horn either. Mm. You know, like, I don't like to 
to tell people what I've done. I, I like the Tudor work. Box. Just to the bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, my, to do the, my wife, like big up Shaney, my, my beautiful wife, mm -hmm. you know, she's actually had to tell me like, you know, you're writing a book. This mm. is, you know, if there's any a time for you to toot your own horn, yeah. it's now. 100%. Because who else is going to do it for exactly, you? You know right. what I mean? So yeah. I've had to kind of come out of my show and be like, yeah, you know what? I did do that. Yeah. You know, I I did represent myself, my community, my family, you know, and, and I achieved a lot of things. And mm. um, and writing that book allowed me to kind of reflect on a lot of that. Yeah. And and a lot of it was, was a lot of fun, a lot of it lessons, yeah. Yeah. you know. And, and I've used – and the beautiful thing about it is – that I've, I've gained all this knowledge and experience to to share it. Yeah, right. Because yeah. that's that's where it's at. You mm. know what I mean? Like, there's no use having all this knowledge and experience if you're not going to share, share it. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah bro. Yeah, hundred percent. What's that's like bad. the? What was the? Why were you so humble? That's mm. my dad. My mom always says yeah. my dad. You know, like he's from Korovai. Like both Tongan. Yeah, Pans? yeah, both Tongan. Yeah. You know, he's from like the boot, like a working class yeah. mm. family. So. He, him and his brother, my uncles, are always very humble. They just do their work and yeah. get it on with. And and I just, I, I guess I just got it from him. You know, yeah. my mom always says it. Um, but interestingly enough, I've heard other people talk about this topic that being humble is a gift and a curse. Mm. Yeah. You know, like it, it's, it's a gift because it allows you to be very, like show a lot of humility yeah. and mm. um, empathy. Yeah. But then it, it's a curse because then you're not actually – Again, not tooting your own horn. Showing your you know, you're not yeah, tooting yeah, your yeah, own horn, yeah, and yeah. there's no one else to do that but mm. you. And, and it's something that I actually had to unlearn, yeah, mm. and then relearn about. It's hard, eh? It's, it's such a bro, hard thing, it, bro. It is because it's it's ingrained in us, mm. you know. We, we and learn it, it from young, bro. Being it humble. is, you know, and it is a very beautiful trait. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, when you start entering these certain spaces, yeah. Where people don't have that, yeah, mm. right, and they got loud voices, yeah, and you're yeah. like, oh, you know, oh, yeah, 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 I'm yeah. All right. you get drowned you know? out by the noise, exactly, man. you know, yeah. and and you have to speak up for yourself, yeah, right, and for yeah. what you believe in, what you want to achieve, and the thing is, those people in those spaces don't look down on you for doing it, yeah, they don't go, oh, this yeah, guy, right. he's got get tickets you, on himself, this guy, they actually like, oh, okay. Yeah, all I like right. This guy, yeah. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, they, yeah. they actually appreciate that you say it. Yeah. Whereas I think, you know, our People community. People that are doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, like, yeah. I think in a, lo a lot of times in our community, it, it's the opposite. Yeah. Mm. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, you know, I did this. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's Who I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. And yeah. then as soon as it doesn't work, like, yeah. oh, yeah. yo, what happened to the other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, shame, shame. Yeah, shame, you know, and it's something that, you know, we've had to internally address mm. Mm. ourselves and as a community. Yeah. I think, I don't know, like, obviously you guys are probably like half my age, right? Do you yeah. feel that's changed Damn. a little bit? The, the way you said that makes me feel like <laughs> a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Bro, for me, it, it's still around. Yeah. We still cop it. A hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred percent, bro. hundred percent. But we, we get it because it's like, we're probably the, the the last generation of our parents. Like we're so the the parent. Mm. I feel like the older generation they don't like failure. They're so stuck in that way. Yeah, bro. They they I don't know like, all about if that. you yeah exactly you know what I mean. If you don't do this and succeed at it, it was never well, meant why, for you. Why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, know, your time, yeah. that? Yeah. you know what? My, a good friend of mine, shout out Tunks. He he often called me the, <laughs> the guy who doesn't like to run for the bus because I always be like. If the bus there, I'm not going to run for it. Yeah. Wait for the next one. Because I'm going to run for it. And if it leaves on the way, way to running, yeah. I'm going to feel like so embarrassed. So yeah, yeah. I'm not even going to run. <laughs> so that, you know, that how bad that yeah, sounds. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he used to call me that. And it's, it, it's that instance. Mm. It's like, my wife even says it to me. Because I'm still fighting with that too. Mm. You know, I'm 48 and I'm still like, uh, but then I'm, there's this thing called a third person, you know, like we have to escape what you're feeling at the moment and, and you know, like the world around you and just get into the space where, 100, you know, like, no, nah, I'm just going to do it. Mm. Yeah. And we just got to learn with our failures. Like you said, mm. you know, we we don't want to fail. No one wants to fail. Yeah. But then it's like, it's more of, more of a failure if you don't try. Exactly. 100%. Mm. Bro, but you, like you said, you're 38, bro. 48. 48. 48. Yeah. <laughs> 48. 
and you've been doing this, bro, as a Polynesian. Mm. So I feel like you're one of the, like, correct me if I'm wrong, you're probably one of the first Polynesians to actually run up the ball within, like, the music yeah, scene in, in Australia. Entertainment. In yeah. Yeah, bro. Well, definitely one of the first. Like, I was, like, big up Six Pound as well. Mm. Hey, He's a, you know, nice rapper from, from Sydney. He was, like, around similar time. MC Trey. There, there were, like, Leroy Brown. There were, were a few. Yeah. Um, but I think with the difference with me is that um, I mean six pounds still going. He Charles, big up Charles. You know yeah. he's doing some great things with the youth through. He's cutting a barber. Hair. Yeah, he's a barber. You know, he's like yeah. great doing yeah. great things. You know, like uh, you know if you if you're not across Charles Lummel, like what he does, mm. great work with the community. You know, in schools and um, but yeah, definitely um, around you know the kind of pioneers of like early nineties, mid nineties. But still doing stuff now. That's the difference. Yeah. You know, there were you a few there, going, but yeah. yeah, you know, I'm still able to um, do what I do through music and through community work, and 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 be able to connect yeah. with the young ones coming up, like yeah, yourselves, yeah. and um, you know, off camera uh, before we started recording, we we're talking about one four. You know, just mm. being able to reach out. Mm. You know, because I, you know, I've said this before. I, I didn't have that coming up, growing mm. up, yeah. You know, so we mm. had to figure it out ourselves, yeah. yeah. Which was great because that allowed us to build like resilience and persistence 100%. and things like that. But yeah. I just know if there was someone there yeah. that yeah. I could kind of reach out, like, yeah, hey, yeah. would have been easier, yeah, you like, know. But yeah. you know, you learn too. So those lessons and and things that I've achieved, I'm able to pass down. Yeah, hundred percent. Do you think because yeah. you didn't have that growing up, like that mentor type of thing? You think that's what's pushing you to become this mm. guy for our generation? Hundred percent. Mm. I love that, bro. Because yeah. like you, you, I see you everywhere. You're 48, but you're still within the still time. Still active, like you're still young, bro. Hundred percent. <laughs> yeah. I just know, seen a bro. video. I love, I love that you. You're you want to be that guy yeah. for our youngins, uh, the people that are our age. You know? Yeah, yeah. And we always circle back to one four because we're like, fuck. Yeah. These guys are the proper. First ball yeah. runners for mm, yeah, you know yeah, not only Australia or drill but like for Polynesian yeah. running the the music in this in, like in this generation because we get it but there's these scribes there's yeah what's all those the you know the yeah, 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 yeah. those guys are all yeah, from yeah, New Dawn Zealand Raid crew, yeah. Dawn Raid and yeah. yeah and like bro big ups to them props to them but we never really had that here in Australia for us yeah. to be like yeah like bruh. that wasn't mm. your thing and that was probably a couple of generations before you mm. as well yeah. mm. like the scribe thing was even a generation after me. Mm. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he definitely like scribe and what he did was was quite incredible. Even everything coming out of New Zealand around that time, like two yeah. thousands, was big. Yeah. But yeah, like you said, with with one four, it really gave us our thing. Yeah. Like as Australian mm. Pacifica people, you know, like obviously we had, you know, like uh, Pete Nenzo were were doing their yes. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even Hess was doing his thing. Um, but yeah, like one four really took it out there yeah. which also bring everyone else up big time bring brought yeah, everyone yeah, else yeah. up big time bro and um yeah it's just beautiful to see and you know it's the first time because new zealand always used to look down at us <laughs> as <laughs> like <laughs> with everything but especially yeah. music yeah. like hip hop oh, these kangaroos like the yeah. way they rap blah 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 one four was the first time i seen new zealand actually go oh what's this and, yeah right, right you know and then i saw my nephew came out he's wearing like these tns and <laughs> so, yeah, man, yeah, you yeah. from uh, west Sydney or south Auckland, <laughs> man? where are you from you know so um yeah they've done some great things for us as a as a community you know like yeah. you gotta take the good with the bad you know yeah, yeah. although I, I yeah like, the stigma they have behind them at the end of it as a people like they still have put our people mm -hmm. out there to be known, oh, they, they, those people are Samoan or Tongan, you yeah. know? Mm, so it's bro. like they've still done a massive thing for yeah. within the culture. Yeah, yeah, it's given energy to our people, yeah, you know, young people. They've allowed other youngins to feel like, oh, wow, we can do it too. Yeah, 100. And that's something that I've always wanted to be, you know, because I've always believed that representation is yeah, yeah, key. Yeah. You know, you can't see it, you can't be it. Like, whatever you want to do, like, make sure you're seen. Kids at home. Like, I, I won an award in 2004, like, Aria. Aria, like, yeah, that's yeah. right. You know, that was with Kulism. Not horn, but, you know. <laughs> um, but I, I say that to say this, right? Toot it, toot it. <laughs> I say that to say this, you know, like, it must have been, like, 10 years later, I met this um, this kid, like, uh, Adrian Eagle. He's an 
awesome artist. And he's like, oh, man, I saw that as a kid. And I just saw, I, I was looking at it and I was, I saw me. You know, yeah, and that's oh, what you man. want. You that's know? hectic, Because you're going you're gonna to have um, young kids looking at your podcast and be like, oh, man, that, you know, that's like me. You know, mm. like, yeah, yeah. look at my son. Yeah. You know, oh, he, really? see, yeah, no, my son, like, sees this, he sees all the boys, you know, he, he loves it, you know, because mm-hmm. he feels like that's his cousins, that's his uncles. Yeah, you know? yeah, so, yeah. And, and to have that fuel in someone, like, man, it can only be a good thing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's so cool, bro. And it's good that, like, you've, you've really, Put, like really uh, showed him the way of of how things are evolving now, bro. I've seen him do the music videos, <laughs> yeah. do all that. Bro. I'm like, that's hectic, bro. Yeah. Like, I, there's no other kid that I know that's how old is he? He's only young. No, yeah. He's twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Bro. Bro. Shout out to Aki. Uh, Shout out to Aki, Aki, Aki bro. Out. Keep yeah. doing your thing, bro. Yeah, he, he loves it. You know, he's he's very fortunate. You know, you have you heard of Nepo kids? Like, they're kids that uh, of um, people that have done well. Like, you know, like. Oh, Whatever yeah. they've yeah, done, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, they've yeah. um they put what's his name Andrew Joey John, Maddie John's son, son in that category. Yeah, he's like that. Yeah. Right? He's like that. Yeah. Like yeah. I have no qualms. Like my son is one. You yeah. Because yeah, he yeah. of who I am, what I've done. Yeah. I can see he has an easier road than a lot of other kids. But, you know, I I do keep him grounded, but you know, he he does love it. You know, yeah. and the thing as a I mean, your kids and you. I got one, bro. Yeah, no one. kids yet. No. And, you hey, know, you got like five. five. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, you know, like as, as a parent, you know, you you want to support them with whatever they want to do, yeah. you know. Uh, you know, if it's a positive thing. Yeah. Um, And as a parent, that's just, you try and give that to them. Mm. You know? For sure. Eh? That's mad, bro. I love that. I love it. Bro, bro talk, us, talk us through how you actually got in the scene, bro. Because you, you were saying that you've, you know, we're in it like in the 90s. Was it even 80s or just nah, the well, I, I was like, I love, I got into hip hop like in the 80s. Yeah, right. So in the 80s. Bro, and you've been a part of, of like the Australian music um, for 20 plus years, <laughs> bro. Direct, and yeah. it's just, what, <laughs> just recently popped off. Hell, like, if that was me, bro, I'd probably wait five years and like, no, you guys do you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, think, I think, again, you know, it's just love for yeah, the music. Right. Yeah. And especially back then, you, you didn't know where you where it was going. Yeah. You just wanted to be a part of it. You just mm. wanted to, oh, I love rap. I'm going to rap. Yeah. You know, I love rugby. I'm just going to play rugby. You play rugby because you want to play it. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. You don't initially play rugby because like, you want I'm going to get an NRL contract. Or <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I'll play yeah. the Wallabies. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, that comes in later. Yeah. But initially, you just like, I just want to be a part of this, man. And mm. and because uh, I love it. Yeah. And that's how I started. You know, um, as soon as I hit high school, I was like, yeah. I'm gonna be a rapper. I wanted to play Wallabies as well, but you know, I think I was too lazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that old Wallabies chestnut, is crazy, <laughs> that, old, that old chestnut for our people. Like, like game day, like you know, number yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Train day, like still oh, in the no. chain, like in the car. <laughs> yeah, like, bro. Are they still they doing laps, <laughs> a couple of sprints, and then you walk out. You know, are you um, gonna play rugby doing that, man? <laughs> yeah, bro. Exactly. You know, so um, yeah, and I just. Throughout high school, I was writing raps. I had some friends at school doing the same thing. You know, you got to think this is like early 90s. Yeah. Like even American hip hop wasn't like accepted. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and so there was no industry for us. But again, you know, we didn't care. We just just wanted to do it. it. Yeah. And it wasn't until like year, kind of year 11, I met uh, Big Up Daniel. Like uh, he's a, a producer, DJ. And then we just started making music, and I released my first tape in year twelve when I was seventeen. Fifty, uh, yeah. What's know? it called? What was your artist name? Um, back, oh, Fatty Boomsticks. Fatty, Fatty Boomsticks. Boomsticks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my sister like used to be all Fatty different kinds, all kinds of names. And then I remember um, my sister and I were fighting. And, oh yeah, Fatty Boomsticks. And I was like, ah, oh. and I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> That Shaggy sounds good. <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, you should give the name to him. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I will. Five hundred dollars. Nice. Um, and yeah, after 17, after school, uh, I was still playing rugby at that time. And um, it just came a time where I was like, well, you got to either dedicate all yeah, yeah, energy yeah, to music. rugby yeah, yeah. or music. And I chose music, you know, and, and my dad was like, Ugh, yeah, right. All right. You know, um, but, you know, thankfully it's, it's, it's worked out well. 100%. You know? And um, again, there was no industry there. The scene was very small. 
you do a show, like, you know, there was nothing on TV. There was no internet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there was internet. But There's it no wasn't. social media. Yeah, no social time. media. Yeah. YouTube wasn't even like you, how YouTube is yeah, now. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, like one friend in my group had a mobile phone. <laughs> you know, it was like, <laughs> yeah. it was proper. You know, like I said it on another podcast, like to get new music, I had to catch a bus from Canberra to Sydney. <laughs> like three hours, three and a half hours, just to I save up money, buy records and what? then take it back. You know, that's, nice, that's you know. That's dedication. Like, mm, that's dedication. But again, you know, that builds that kind of uh, perseverance and mm. yeah. persistence. Yeah. And um, yeah, so and then it just took on from there, you know, and then gradually we got better. The scene got stronger. Yeah. The industry started recognizing what was happening. Um, and there's been a lot of big moments in, in Australian hip hop, yeah. you know, especially with Hilltop Hoods in the kind of early 2000s. Yeah. Yeah. Really were. Nosebleed section. Yeah, like that, that was uh, huge for for us in the scene. Yeah. Mm. You know, that broke through that mainstream and it kind of stayed there with other artists. Um, and, you know, along the way, we'd have like people like Cursor, mm. uh, 360. 360 you, know, yeah. that, you know, there were kind of like moments where like things were really changing. Yeah. yeah. And, that, and then, you know, 1 4 happened and that really took it kind of. How did low. you hear of them? Um, oh, it's through I think Elijah Yo because oh, yeah. he, he was working with them early, like, he used to film their videos. Oh, wow, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, he's been around for a long oh, time. Wow. Shout out, Elijah, yeah, would, bro. Um, and Ricky, who later became the manager of One Four, because he used to go to um, Street Uni, yeah, where they used to go, yeah, and um, Esky, big up Esky, he. Would bring us like, oh, can you come talk to the boys? Like, yeah, yeah. I can see there's something there, but they're just in the streets. Yeah. And Ricky would go there, and I said, um, oh, introduce me. So we went to there's there was a thing called um, Tracks Blacktown Arts Center where FBI Radio would that facilitate like a panel. Yeah, and talks for people out west. You know, this is before. I mean, West has always had something. Yeah. But mm. this was before the explosion. So yeah, they yeah. wanted to take something out there for the kids to get involved yeah. with. And I met uh, Hollaback Beats. Who, oh, the first producer. Yeah, yeah. who's Tongan as well. Yeah, yeah. And he produced, uh, you know, Rest in Peace, oh, Hollaback whoa, Beats. Whoa, Tongan. Whoa. <laughs> 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 hey, we got to get, we gotta get it. We got to get it. We got to get rappers out here. We got to get it where we can get it. Um, you know, I met him and I kept in contact and... Um, then I started following them on the socials. Yeah. Mm. And, you know, it was like, I think it was like 500 followers at yeah, that time. Yeah. Um, and they already had music out. Yeah. They had, mm. you know, um, like um, Ready for War. And yeah. Things, yeah. You know, those older Bangers. ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I remember watching it and I was like, oh, they already had like 100,000, like, mm. like pretty high numbers yeah. for uh, relatively unknown yeah. Mm. yeah but i think a lot of those views are for people like people that hated it <laughs> yeah. you know? yeah. um but i started watching it and i was like man these guys are really good like mm. like proper they weren't just street dudes yeah. that were just talking about it they actually were, today, yeah. yeah they're yeah. actually like lyricists yeah mm. so that's what caught my because i love lyrics mm. yeah. and, and that caught my ear like oh wow these guys are actually thinking about what they're writing mm. and how they're writing it yeah um and that and then them using their own accents yeah as yeah. well because at the time because i used to rap with my accent like early but your accent as an australian yeah or? yeah just like natural right. like how i would talk is yeah, how i would yeah. rap yeah and that was a very big thing in australia you know because we wanted to find our own identity yeah. in like global hip-hop mm. and sound like and yeah you know because yeah. you know you hear the uk Japanese Japanese rappers they rap in Japanese yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. you know yeah. everyone raps in their own yeah accent, their dialect yeah. or their accent you yeah. know that's what we wanted to do mm -hmm. as well yeah. but you know I think a lot of us in our community were still rapping like American American mm -hmm. like yeah. Pete Nenzo and yeah. even Hefs when it was and mm. and so when I heard one four like actually rap yeah. how they talked I was like oh shit these guys mm. they figured something out yeah. you mm -hmm. know like yeah. how to be different yeah, not yeah. only musically but lyrically and the way they sounded. Um, and then I saw them start to release like teasers for what you know. Mm. And I reached out and said, 
oh, send me it. I'll play it on the show. Oh, and, that's mad. Yeah, and um, yeah, and that's just how leaks it. <laughs> yeah, just leaks it. <laughs> oh man, let's talk. We'll talk about the leaks though. Yeah. Um, but even before that, I was in contact with with Selly because he was working with another artist from out west, Lux, and Enter. Big shout out to them. Oh. Um, and Lux would say like, "Hey, I'm working with Selly. Like, can I send you some?" This is when he did the solo stuff. Um, oh, okay. Um, the money, I think it was called, mm. and. He had just went in before I met the guys. Oh, mm. That's nuts, bro. Yeah. So you hadn't met him, but you heard his song. Yeah, I was just talking DMs. Yeah, 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 man. But cool. then when I actually got around to meeting the guys, yeah. he had already. He was in Bin. Yeah. yeah. Damn. That's crazy. It was like bro. a couple of months before. Yeah, 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 like yeah. That. yeah. Yeah. What about YP, bro? Hey, big ups to YP, mm. bro. Like, that's a He's big thing bad. to do, man. Like, you know. Massive respect, bro. One, one thing that I do respect about our people, bro, is like our faith. Stand with, on with, it, yeah, bro. we stand on our cross, bro, and um, it takes a lot of uh, courage. Not not balls, bro. There's a difference between balls and courage, and uh, you stood on what you believe in, bro. So keep doing your thing. Much love to you, and hundred man. Yeah, bro, yeah, we stand on you, man. Pee, man. Um, selfishly, I'm like, oh, we just lost one yeah. of our best. Yeah, yeah, one of the best. Hard, in hard, hard, bro. Bro. But um, we lost him to Christ. Yeah. So it's, all right. yeah. it's, it's a win-win. It's a win-win. Yeah. Yeah. It's a win-win. Yeah. But um, but yeah, again, yeah, like, because I know how much shit he'd be getting, mm. you know. Yeah. But when you when you follow your heart, you follow your heart, and nothing else mm. matters. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Um, but I don't work as I was with the boys just recently, but I don't work with him closely like. I used to, yeah. Mm. Um, but I, but you know, I already knew that he was kind of walking that path. You yeah, know, be, you know, yeah. before it came on media and yeah, all yeah. that. Like yeah. when it said, "Oh, he's he's gonna leave," and he's he's you know he's gonna you know go head on with the faith, and mm. so I know it comes from a very genuine yeah. place. Yeah, it's a real, a real thing. Place. It's yeah. not just because yeah. he got bagged again. Like, yeah. Oh, better you know. Yeah, it, it had already been coming. Yeah. So, um Yeah, much love to Pio. You know, he's. Following his heart, yeah, you know, that's true. Bro. A lot of respect, bro. Big respect, bro. Um, yeah, bro. Like, so, well, circling back to when you grew up, bro. Because what you're 48 and you were born in Australia. Yeah, that's nuts. And you're Tongan. Yeah, your parents migrated a very long yeah. time before like you. Were they born. were mid late 60s. <laughs> yeah, bro, that would, would have been one of the <laughs> yeah, first. yeah, that was the first yes. in Canberra. Like, in Canberra? yeah, Cause my my uncle Sione Latu Kefu. He's uh, he was the first. Um, Tongan historian, you know, he in wrote, Australia. Book, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, he was from Tonga, but he was the first yeah, historian, yeah. you know, and he wow. came to Canberra because we have a like a world recognized university, ANU, mm. in Canberra, it's been there for years, and he yeah, yeah, yeah. came to study, and then he brought the brothers wow. and, and nice, some other bro. people from the village, you yeah, know? And, and one of those other people he brought from the village was my wife's dad. So like oh wow. <laughs> yeah yeah like, don't worry man we we so did the paperwork <laughs> <laughs> we did the paperwork <laughs> so that's your cousin sister's <laughs> cousin. looking at the family tree like <laughs> why, is it, why, is it, why are we on the same side <laughs> 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 so how we met was the family <laughs> yeah. oh wow <laughs> so that's that yeah bro. make your mother <laughs> that's that's bro uh, um but yeah so and that was yeah the 60s and it's pretty crazy because how I understand the story. You know, my dad and brothers came and then they kind of like figured out, okay, my dad's going to be a, a painter and decorator. My uncle Uli is going to be a mechanic. My uncle David is going to be a draftsman, you know, like an architect. Mm. Another uncle is going to be an electrician. And, you know, like there yeah, all yeah, these yeah. kind of different trades. trades and they kind yeah. of looked after each yeah. other that's in the community. Hectic, you know? That's so similar to a lot of stories. Like um, families that come over, you know, mm. they, they, they have a plan. They set it up and then they get everyone else over. And I love that, you know, your family did that thing and then you're still reaping off what they've, you know, set up for you guys. Yeah, you know? 100%. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm very fortunate I had very supportive family, and like yeah. especially my parents. You know, mm. I had both parents as well. Yeah. You know, like, you know, a lot of our fa families don't have yeah. that, yeah. you know, and, and they were very loving, very um, supportive in a lot of things I did. So I, I knew I've, I've always known that I've had a fortunate foundation from yeah. the start, 
you know, I've always it's not, all, not all Islanders get that, you know. No, it's not, you know. But I think it's also that was the thing with the book as well. I was I wanted to show that our stories aren't always tragic stories. Yeah, yeah. you know, like, oh, yeah, you know, his dad died, he yep. had cancer, yep. and you know, he he went off the rails and yeah. he, he came yep. back. You know, it's, yeah. It's, there's cool stories. There's a lot too. of stories yeah. like that, yeah. and and they they it's important to be told. Mm. You know, but there's also other stories that's like, you know what, he's actually had a good upbringing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he did well for yeah, himself. Yeah, 100%. You know? and, um, and, and that's what makes us who we are, is, is yeah. being able to have these different stories. We don't always have the same Not, yeah. upbringing. You know? It's like my son. Like I told him, you know, he loves rap, right? He loves 1 4 and HP boys and all that. And I'm like, you know, you as a rapper, you got to be yourself. Mm. You're not from the area. Like, mm. But that's okay that's because nice. you're from the east suburbs mm. and there needs to be islanders from the east suburbs. Mm. You know? Other islanders who are growing up in the country towns that aren't from the area, they need someone to see as yeah. well. You know, yeah, We're yeah. not always yeah. from the hood. Represent yeah. that, that, that exactly, side of the island. You know? And yeah. I think it's something that to be proud of as well. Yeah. You know? 100%. Like, cause I think you know, there's a lot of emphasis on us being like real. Mm. What is real? Yeah, like, yeah, the yeah. realest you can be that's is so yourself. True. You know, yeah. that's the most. That's the hardest thing to be. Mm. Yeah, you know, like, people want to be hard. Like, try being yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, just, in uh, any space, walking facts. in and just being you. That's the hardest you can be. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever worked with someone that you know there was potential in them, but you're like, nah, like uh, a few, a few, because you know, this is one thing I've learned out of being a mentor is you have to allow people to to take their journey in their own time. Mm. Yeah. You know, I think initially I was like, I know this, I know that, I've I've done this, I've done that, so I know it. Yeah. So you gotta do it. Yeah. And that's what you gotta do. You know, not that harsh, yeah. but <laughs> it was like that, you know, yeah, like yeah. I kind of were they did they feel like overbeared? Like you were overbearing um, type of thing? I'm not too sure. I mean, I I I, def, I feel like they knew where my, my heart was in the right place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I just thought, well, I know better, so you should do mm, it because I yeah. know where you know. Yeah. yeah. And um, but that comes from a loving place, like a, a place where it, no, it it definitely does. It definitely yeah. comes from a good place, but it's not a very, I guess, realistic place either. Yeah, gotcha. You know because. As you know, it's again going back to my son and my kids in general. You know, you obviously want them to do the best, their best, but that the way they're going to learn, um, the way they're going to learn the best is them actually making mistakes, mm. experience, yeah. yeah, experience. And you know, that's something that I'm like, Ugh. you know, <laughs> what if you make the wrong experience? Yeah, yeah. you know, like, what if you're going to make that <laughs> yeah. mistake that you can't come back yeah, from? You know? but, shittest experience. Uh, yeah, 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 you know, but you know, it's pain, it's painful for me to say it. Like, sometimes you just got to let them go. And that's yeah. like, it's like artists, you know, you can see it. Like, God, don't do that because this mm. is what's going to happen. Mm. And they do it and it happens. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I told you not to do this. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't I tell you not to do But I had to learn like, well, that's that's how they're going to learn. Yeah. yeah. You know, and they have to take, they have to do things in their time. That's how they're going to learn it. Like me going, no, you can't do that. That's, you know, it's only going to build build resentment. Yeah. It's like, a, again, like a parent. You know, how many times you see strict parents and the kid just turns yeah. out to be like, big time, wild. Yeah. This wow. is the <laughs> no way, bro. just like this guy. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? So it, it's a, it's a fine line, and sometimes you just got to bite your tongue. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I've learned that okay, you just got to give them options. Mm. So okay, you can do that, but this is what's going to happen. Yeah. Or you mm. can do this, and this is what's going to happen. Yeah. It's a, and they've got to take it upon themselves. Yeah. And, you know, I say it a lot. Like they're going to live with their mistakes more than they're going to live with the mistakes that you mm. gave them. Facts, mm. bro. You know? Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have listened. I knew this wouldn't happen. Yeah. I shouldn't have listened to mm. you. Yeah. Where they made the decision like, shit, yeah, that didn't work. Yeah. Okay, what, what what did I do wrong? Like, what can we do? How do we yeah. rectify this? How, you know, yeah. how does it not make this happen again? Yeah. You know? You so there's a lot like, of um, trials and tribulations, yeah. yeah. You feel like the artists want to experience that in order for them to grow in their journey? Or do you feel like it's they need to experience that? They type definitely of thing? need to, but I think the only thing with 
the newer generations is that they're just impatient. Yeah. yeah. You know, they want something to happen now. No, yeah. It doesn't no, happen yeah. now. Instant. Yeah. You know, it's like on to the next thing, you know, but that's not totally their fault. It's yeah. like mm. social media. As 100%. Well. Yeah. It's what they're you know, consuming. We're getting fed this, yeah. or this, what we feel is success. Yeah. Mm. You know, like, oh, if you don't have these racks or these certain yeah. clothes or yeah. this car, yeah. Yeah. you're not successful. But, yeah. you know, getting up, going to work, that yeah. alone mm. is a yeah. success. You know, how many times have you not done that? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I think we've got to figure out how, our metrics of what success yeah. is, what yeah. it looks mm. like. Well, yeah. what's success to you, bro? Happiness, man. Mm. Come on. Like freedom. Like that for me. I mean, that's easy because of my age, right? I can say yeah. that. If I was, How old are you guys? 25, 29. Yeah, sure. see, like if I was probably your age, it'd probably be different. Oh, I just want this car. Mm. Mm. Not to say that like, that's what you guys want, yeah. but like I just know my that. But age, yeah, as someone like that. that's yeah. been through it, yeah, and done it, you know, yeah. and kind what's of success, being yeah. in the spaces with rich, rich people, mm. yeah, and and what they say, yeah, it, it's it's totally different to what we think it mm. is yeah. at a young age. Like, yeah. oh, they must be happy in that big house and mm. yeah. all that money. They're like, my son won't even talk to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, yeah. I just, I just want the family. Like, yeah, yeah. I just want to be with the family, and feel loved. Love that. Yeah. You know, like, and you know, to someone with not a lot of money, that's it's like, oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Mm. But trust, like, that is, you know, like building those relationships and and holding on to those relationships for your life. Hundred, like, bro. That's Come on. success. Yeah. Man, you know. Yeah. Love that, bro. Happy, yeah. Yeah, I'm but, still buzzing out, bro. That did, you're 48, bro. Bro, <laughs> yeah. for real. 48, bro. Pioneer, you look man. like 30. <laughs> nah, that's pushing it. That's like, what a Bro, drop me. No, but that's one thing I, I Wait, love, bro. You, yeah, what you say? Nah, but I think that comes to, again down to like passion. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like if I was doing something I didn't like, yeah. I'd probably be like, my demeanor would probably be a lot different. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Hundred. Oh, yeah. I mean, you had you, how many people you know that don't like what they do, and and that's that that weighs heavy on someone. Yeah. Mm. You know, they and they have to earn money for the family, or whatever. Yeah. But they just don't like what they do. Mm. You know, like uh, you got to respect that too, because they yeah. just like take one for the team. Yeah. Yeah. They, they got to do what they got to do. Yeah, yeah. You know, but. I'm very fortunate that I've I found my passion early, yeah, and I just stuck with it, and and, and connecting with younger generations also has kept me young, yeah, you know, like hundred bro, because they it's reciprocal, you know, like they feed off your my knowledge, knowledge, yeah, and yeah, I feed yeah. off the energy, yeah, right? That's their mad. their fearlessness is what yeah, I love, yeah, because I'm like I overthink a lot, yeah, you know, I think that's a Capricorn trait as well. Shout out to the Capricorns, <laughs> <laughs> but I overthink a lot. Yeah. Where someone young's like, nah, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking, oh, this, this, that's gonna happen. This. Yeah, is that because you've you've been through it and done it? All I think it is. It? Yeah, I think it is. You know, even when you were younger, you're overthinker. Um, not as much. Okay, because because cool. you, you're inexperienced. Yeah, yeah. you haven't you know, seen yeah, it. Yeah, all you don't yet. know what's yeah, yeah, yeah. happened. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, like I said before about wanting to rap. If I knew, like, okay, in five years' time, I'd probably be on Dole or, yeah. and, you know, still living at Well, you know, something yeah, like that. Yeah. I probably wouldn't have done it. Along the lines I wouldn't have done it. Whereas yeah. before, I was like, nah, I just want to rap because yeah, I love yeah. it. You know, it's, that's all I want to do. Yeah. That's yeah. what I just yeah. did. Yeah. Um, and that's that fearlessness that I love about young people. And, yeah. You know, it's it's unfortunate that the world kind of beats it out of us. Yeah. Mm. Um, just to, you know what? Because that, that's what I love watching. It's kind of a tangent, but not, but kind of feeds into it. But, you know, watching Spanian's videos. Yeah. 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 He's the man. The way he reacts to things, like, no, he's what? 30 something, right? Yeah. Mm. And the way he reacts to things is like very childlike reactions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I I guess, because that's, you know, he was brought up in the system. So he's missed out a lot of that stuff. But I love, that's pure. Yeah, energy. Yeah. I love his. I watched wow. the, I watched the video. Yeah. Wow, what is oh. this? <laughs> right, you know him. He's the best, he, he's bro. he's like a testament to pure perseverance, bro. And he said something, that bro. Story, that story, bro. Bro, like, not only his story, but he was saying when I when he first started, right? 
he first started, he was like, bro, everyone hated me. Yeah, yeah. everyone hated me. They were, they were trying to drag yeah, me online, that, yeah. do all this stuff. They even said allegations of me, you know, yeah, like raping, raping people. Yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. like, you know what? I just stuck at it and Stuffed doing whatever he's doing. And he goes, I didn't change. My perception changed from you, like mm, you know, yeah, of the people like, of the world. Yeah, yeah. like everyone hated yeah. him at that time. And the only thing that changed is when he did something cool, cool, and then one thing led to another. He was still going, and he went live when he hit 500k. 500k. Yeah. That's the video you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah like, bro, I this guy is thing. legit. Yeah, like it's, it's a crazy story. I mean, like there's a lot of things I don't agree <laughs> with what he says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but you can't deny his story, like mm. growing up in the system, Facts, getting himself bro. off Facts, heroin. Bro. Yeah, like that's nuts. He and, just and wanted to be, yeah. Building this this empire, you mm. know, and but again, like that that you know, going back to what we were saying, that childlike response to things, like yeah. yeah. I saw a video when he went to the east suburbs of Sydney and was trying like it was just simple like a pie or something yeah, oh, yeah. What, like you said what, God, you know, what like, is this that, that, like the world beats that out of us yeah. because we're too we're we're wow, that's so know, we have to be told like okay we've got to approach things yeah, a certain yeah, yeah. way yeah, yeah. but you know that childlike response to things and that fearlessness like yeah. we got to hold hold on to mm, it somehow yeah. like some bits yeah. Yeah. you know like <laughs> just that's so true. Bro. Yeah, you know, That's but so I, I think That's some so circumstances doesn't allow us to yeah. because we have to, you know, like, you know, it's yeah. like, oh, I just want to go on a yacht. And it's like, bro, you got three kids at home. You can't <laughs> yeah. just do that. <laughs> yeah. But, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you got to be able to. I just want to go on a yacht, girls, <laughs> everything. <Yeah. laughs> bro, bro, you I got five the, kids, bro. Watch, watch the podcast with the how and he still told me just, <laughs> just get the bag bro, and just hit the yacht. <laughs> yeah. Hard, you know hard. what I mean? You know, and I think. Yeah, it's that that playfulness and that childlike mm. fearlessness. You know, mm. we we miss that, and because I'm sure you guys can remember back to you know. I mean, sometimes it led us into some stupid yeah. shit. Mm. Yeah, but that fearlessness of like, yeah, let's just do it. Yeah, mm. hundreds. You know? Like, I remember, yeah. I remember the stupidest thing I've ever done. I egged my next door neighbor, bro. <laughs> Exactly, bro. They just knock on your door. They just walked out, bro. My whole family was at the house on the Sunday night. It was those guys. One hundred percent. You're right. That's that's so true. How many times have you have you like talked to a person and you've wanted to say something, but in your head you're like, man, I don't want to say that. Like, I don't want to sound stupid or anything. Um. No, like well, from what you were saying, like the it, the world has oh, been like, bro. yeah, a lot of times. <laughs> yeah, you, know you don't that? want to see him too, too, too much, or yeah, this guy's yeah. queer. Well, you know, again, it goes back to what we were saying about being humble. You know, mm-hmm. like like not wanting to ask a question because you're going to come across dumb, mm-hmm. or you know, you didn't hear something. You just like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And what do you say? Like oh, I don't know. I just, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? yeah. And yeah. I tell my son that a lot. Like man, don't be. Don't be like me, man. Like, speak up. If you don't know it, that's okay. Ask. Ask, yeah. You know, like, and if you like someone, tell them. Like, if you don't like someone, you don't have to tell them. But be authentic. Like, you stay away from, you know, I think mm. it's, you know, like, being authentic is just so underappreciated. Yeah. You know? 100%, bro. Like, because you can be, you can not like someone, but you can still be tactful about it. It's yeah. not like, yeah. oh, no, nah, fuck, yeah. this guy's on site, you know. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's like, oh, you know, I don't like the guy. Yeah, and that's okay. Yeah, you know, we don't have to like everyone. Yeah, hundred. Yeah. That's so true, man. No, but, it, but you know, again, you got to find your voice. Yeah, that's what yeah, yeah. When was it? When was it? The first time that you got an actual gig and you're like, bah, this is yeah, it. man. I was. How old were you? I think it was like seventeen. That same year, I put out a tape. Oh no wait, it was like a multicultural festival in Canberra. Like it's a pretty yeah, big yeah. thing. You so I used high. to rap with my cousin Sione and um. Like he was oh, like four years older than me. What's the name of your band? Uh, Tribe L- Letter L. Letter cool. L. That's, yeah. Because like our surnames obviously start with L. And the DJ, it. his name's Daniel Ellison. So it was like, and we love the Tribe Pool Quest too. So it was like, yeah. tri- Tribe Letter L. Yeah, that sounds cool. Goes hand in hand. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, it was multicultural festival. So people aren't really th- necessarily there to see us. Yeah. This is like live performances. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And people walking around eating their like food from Macedonia or yeah. something. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like that first show, you're like, oh shit, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 Daniel's on the decks, 
Siona and I on the mic and it, what I can remember, it was like a great mm. experience. That's you know? And it's something that I'll forever cherish. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was, yeah, 93. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Damn. I don't, we know that feeling all too well. If anything, that just happened to us recently, bro. Yeah, uh, well, maybe just over a month or a bit. We, we hosted our first show, bro. How like we we feel, host, you know, mad nervous. Oh, oh. bro. Hectic, bro. We <laughs> I mean, got there. Yeah. We got there first part of the day. We got on, killed it, bro. Got the crowd pumping. The oh, end of it, shit. bro, we were drunk. Oh, I was man. slurring my words on stage. I was like, I'm never doing that again, bro. There you go. It's the lessons. <laughs> 100%. You know what I mean? Like, you just grateful that it didn't go worse than that yeah. but you know it was, it was bad enough for you to go like yeah i'm not doing that yeah you know? yeah but i get it man you're excited yeah mm, especially yeah. you start off good yeah and then everyone else feeling good yeah, oh yeah, okay yeah. i'll just have one. Oh, two. yeah and yeah next thing, bro, you know? I, got, I got proper like hammer day <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i was like i don't know i felt like the the adrenaline of being in front of everyone the bro there was like three thousand yeah. people in yeah, front man. of us it was not bro it i know not. you too yeah, and, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, and they just reciprocated everything we're mm. doing. It was like that feeling was like took over the drunkenness of yeah. me, like drinking all that all night. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, yeah, hectic this, feeling, bro. Shout out to Jamin, man. Hundred. Um, That's exciting. Who was uh? Who's your favorite artist that you've worked with so far? We've like done a collab <laughs> with. Because how I I see it, I came across to you was with um when you did that uh, mix up with uh, the Uso Lissi. Shout out to Mosul, bro. Big shout out to Lissy. Um, what was it? He um he came on, I think it was your radio thing, a show, I think. And he did like a little rap on there. Oh, the bars? Yeah, still? the bars. Bars are still, yeah. yeah. Is that still going on? Or yeah, not? it's still going on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He tore that up. Yeah. That was the first time I met. Yeah. I met Lissy too. Yeah. Who was um, yeah, who was your favorite? Man, there's a lot. Probably a lot that, you know, the young viewers wouldn't be aware of, like artists that I grew up. There's a guy from the UK called Rodney P. Like he was, mm. you know, he's a generation above me and I grew up listening to his stuff. And mm. then he came to Canberra and we've reached out like, oh, you want, you want to jump on something? He's yeah. like, yeah, man, yeah. you know? Because it was at that time too where you did things for for the love of it and just yeah. connecting. You know, None of this tip like, for tap. Yeah, yeah, yeah just send us yeah. thing, you know, yeah, talk yeah. to my people. Blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah. He's like, right, let's give me some kfc some whiskey <laughs> let's do it yeah you know mad. so to work with him was was quite amazing you know mm. and there's a lot of people you know the one thing because nas is my goat mm. yeah nas mad. doing the triple j hip-hop show I've, I've got to interview him twice no oh, way. and yeah that for me is like probably one of the highlights of doing that show Damn. So, uh, he was touring i met him on the tour like the second time I met him I did interview face to face with Damien Marley when they did a project <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but the first time he came by himself and he was in the Melbourne studio and I was in Sydney so we just you know you would talk through the control yeah yeah and I remember I was nervous because like it's my go like nah it's yeah, the yeah. best number one and I was sitting there waiting and I heard a voice say okay yeah Nas is here um, he's gonna jump on, and you know, you got 15, 20 minutes. I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, cool, cool. <laughs> I was just like waiting, like, and then I just like, yo, and I was like, oh, shoot, that's the voice, man. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. the voice I've been listening to since wow. ninety one, whatever. Yeah. So yo, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. I was just like, oh yeah, Mister Nas. Like, like, <laughs> you know I mean? So yeah, like he was, he was. Um, I mean, yeah, I didn't work with him, but. You know, I guess we did work in a way yeah. like, with the radio. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Like talking to him was, I talked 50 Cent. Oh, wow. He, he was like, yeah, he was awesome, man. He was like really down to earth. and Yeah? Like, yeah. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. I think also when these artists know that you know your shit. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, okay. They appreciate like, a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're kind of tone changes. Yeah. Just, mm. They just say, oh, it's another radio yeah, yeah. interview. But for me, my... Interview style was always breaking the ice with either a particular question yeah. or a song. So I would do a lot of research and then with 50 Cent, I think he, oh yeah, on um, the song with um, the Game. Hater, Hater Love, love it. it. Yeah, you yeah. know, he talks about um favorite song back in the day. It was Eric B and Rakim, Check Out My Melody. Mm. And I play that song straight on. He's like, and that, straight away he's like, 
Oh yeah, I remember this song when I was. You know what yeah, I mean? It breaks yeah, that ice. Break it already. Yeah, yeah and they get like, oh, okay, this guy knows. Yeah, he yeah. listens to what I talk about. Yeah, so. yeah. Take the yeah. Hard, bro. That's mad. Is that like one of your little tricks that you do? Yeah, yeah. When you like interview on yeah. that. Yeah, because I, I feel like as an art, my self being an artist, I knew what questions I just got sick of being asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I knew like what they wanted to be asked. Yeah, yeah. So whenever I would do research and ask them, they were like, oh, mm. yeah, oh, yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah. you know, they'd really be engaged <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I was asking stuff that they wanted to talk yeah. about. Mm. They were like, or, oh, finally different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially That's when you walk, to, um, see a lot of the American interviews yeah. same shit yeah. yo yeah. so what else is what's going yeah, on yeah, you're like oh yeah. I've got this new album out coming oh who's on the album yeah. oh so and so who produced you know it's just yeah. like <laughs> nonsense stuff so when you're actually engaged in a conversation they, they love it mm -hmm. you know? um, so I had a chance to interview Kanye but he pulled out oh, which mm. sucked I heard so I had all really, my questions yeah really, you know I heard he's different like real different like he's uh, what the world thinks of him is um oh a lot different than he yeah, puts out yeah 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 i kind of think it's a bit half half because he definitely knows yeah. how to rile up yeah 100 yeah. people especially yeah. when something's about Finance to come out get people yeah. talking, you know and then yeah. it's like oh this is and everyone's like oh kanye and he's yeah. like got a new song coming <laughs> yeah. out yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> check out these new shoes <laughs> you know? yeah. thanks for things are going on my page oh, yeah, yeah bro. So he, he definitely knows how to play that yeah. game yeah. yeah a lot of the stuff again too i'm like oh man what would you even say that but yeah yeah Hard it works, own. bro. It works. Yeah. It works for him. Yeah. You know, um, funny thing, because like, he's been to Australia a few times and he was in a studio, working out a studio that my friend was working at. Yeah. And he's a big fan. It's like old Kanye. Mm. And he said he walked in the kitchen and Kanye was in there. It was just them oh, two. Heck. And he was like, oh. Should I? shout out to Jay. And he said, oh, God, ask this guy. <laughs> and then he finally mustered up the courage. He's like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, can I ask you a question? <laughs> he goes, turns around and goes, you just did. And he walked out. <laughs> <laughs> what a friend said. Oh. His friend was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, up, That's bad, bro. Uh, did you see, um, <laughs> have you seen Snoop Dogg's one? Which one? <laughs> he posts up a video like, Snoop Dogg giving up smoke. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, what? Everyone's, no way. Yeah. But it comes out a week later. Like, this little the, bonfire, the campfire thing. Thing, thing. He's like, yeah. Smoke free. Smoke free. <laughs> oh, bro. Yeah, everyone was like, good on you, Snoop. Like, well done, man. Like, I'm with you 100%. Oh, this guy's oh, manipulative. He's probably reading it like, oh, these guys are sucking, He's like that man. sucking. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> oh, bro. I couldn't believe it. Eh? Like, I was like, what's going on yeah, here? Hi. Something. Yeah, and then he came out with that. Like, man, oh, that guy man. is still everything that guy is. Yeah, like, bro. Mm -hmm. but uh, the, the thing with him, though, like, um, you expect that from yeah. him? Mm -hmm. You know, he's he's managed to build his brand where it's like, oh, he's selling mar marshmallows. Like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, bro. Like, yeah, bro. Menu log. Uh, bro. Yeah. Menu log, yeah. you know? Song of Katy Perry. Bro, yeah. 100%. Do you think there will be an <laughs> Aussie artist that will reach that level of being on TV for everything and mm. anything? I think so. I definitely think so. You know, like, I mean, Kid Leroy does a lot. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and I just, bro, just slipped my mind. Kylie Minogue was one of them. Yeah, Kylie Minogue is one of them. You know, there are, you know, like, but as far as the younger generation mm. now. Like coming like, up now, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. Leroy's doing those things. Like, yeah, you know, he's 100. got his own burger. He's got Maccas and that, yeah. Yeah, yeah but. It's what different are you gonna because say, no, 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 no. Kid Leroy, right? Should I say this? He, he, right? He's like Kid Leroy, bro. He's a goat, but he's advertising this burger in an American accent, bro. Yeah, like it's like I get it, yeah, but like yeah. Yeah. we need we, just, need we need a guy of like Tien's tracksuit, bro. Like that's shame, bro. Where all that? But also, you know, Spaniards, Spaniards, good for that, bro. Yeah, you know, but I think you know he's just so marketable, and I think. But you also like when he have you watched the new doco? His new doco, Leroy. Yeah. Oh yeah. And he yeah. talks like that. I think just because he's lived there, he's been there that yeah. long. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. Yeah. And you yeah. hear a lot of Australians. Yeah. They kind of have that hybrid. Yeah. Mm. Accent. Yeah, Even yeah. like. But I do feel you. Like. Yeah. Yeah. That would be cool if he was like, yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. Spaniard, bro. Yeah, It'd be cool if if, he, if Leroy was going to be burger, oh, man. What? Has it like? What's the biggest thing you've regretted? Like, uh, you know, how, I won't say regret because, you know, obviously the, when you're in this 
position in life, you don't have a lot of regrets, but you learn from it. What's the biggest thing I where you I like, have a lot of regrets. You know when people say like, I don't have one regret. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, That's bullshit. On one hand, I do get it. Yeah. Because whatever they did, it, it's made them the person they are yeah. today. You know, and you probably don't want to change that because yeah. you are who you are. Yeah. But there are a lot of regrets mm. that I have. I don't. This, I think the thing is, is not letting that regret um overwhelm you, you, yeah. you know not dwell on it mm -hmm. which can be hard yeah. but yeah, there's a lot of regrets like i you know i wish i could have worked with someone mm. um you know there's a few girls i did wrong that <laughs> didn't deserve it yeah, you know it's yeah. like yeah. not major stuff yeah. but you still uh, regret it yeah, so, yeah. you, you know it's still at night i sometimes like yeah i shouldn't have done that yeah, yeah. yeah. Said, oh, i shouldn't have hit that person i shouldn't have i should have i wish i reacted differently yeah mm. you yeah. know and i think that's accountability. Mm. That's mm. important. Hundred. Like knowing you did wrong yeah. and accepting it and being accountable for your actions. Yeah, you know, either trying to rectify that or learn to live with it. Yeah, mm. you know. Um, but again, yeah, I think it, the the trick is to not let it eat you up. Like yeah. you said. Yeah. Cool, bro. bro. Do you like being your age and being in the industry for this long? Do you still have goals? Are there yeah. still things that you are trying to pursue for your career? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know, I think that's again the gift and the curse of being ambitious. Yeah, mm, right. Because he never settled. Yeah. You know, he's yeah. like, "What's next? What else can I do?" Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not just sure I oh, come on, man. <laughs> it's my interview, man. Um, you know, I'm just starting to do some TV and film stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that is excited me again because yeah. I've explained it to a few people like. When it comes to the hip hop space, it's like, yeah, how's the hip hop guy? He's been around for a long time. So whenever in that room, I'm always the guy that knows a lot, mm. yeah, did yeah. a lot. But then when I enter those spaces of film and TV, like I don't know anything. Yeah, mm. yeah. And I love that fact being in a room, like starting to learn yeah, again yeah, sick. and asking questions. Yeah. Not like now being a more mature person. Yeah, yeah. That I'm able to ask those yeah. questions yeah. I wouldn't ask as a young as yeah, young yeah, person. Yeah, that's sick, bro. So um, yeah, there's always goals because I think that that's what makes you young as well. Yeah. Like just being setting setting goals and just wanting to achieve it. Cool. Mm. Um, that's mad. Bro. Yeah, and and you know we can always break down what goals look like they mm. could be just daily goals yeah mm. like uh, so I'm, I'm gonna get up before nine o'clock yeah mm. for this week you know that's a, i mean how many times you slept till 12 and yeah. you kind of feel like <laughs> yeah. you the day's Waste done the whole day, yeah. you know like they're, they're little goals that you should be proud of achieving yeah. you know like i tell a lot of the artists i work with like celebrate those little wins yeah. mm. man you know because they're important it's not okay. always about oh, i'm gonna get a million streams yeah, which yeah. is a great achievement but so is also your first 10,000. Yeah, yeah. And then it's just, oh, I want 20, you know, yeah. Yeah. it's growing, growing and, and learning to to love every step. Mm. And if it's a misstep, you know, you just kind of adapt. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Cool, bro. I love that, man. It's, it's been an honor for you to come on and, you know, share your knowledge of that, bro. Bro, we're still learning. We're, yeah. we're still yeah. learning, bro, big, big time. time. I'm still learning, man. Yeah. You know, I think that's what keeps me young too. I to say like always rem stay curious because mm. that's what keeps you moving and motivating. Yeah. Like, yeah. how do I do this? Who who do I? You know, like when you meet people, like ask them questions. You know, like never never stop learning. When yeah. when you the day that comes where you feel like you know it all, that, that's you're like, done for. Yeah. Done. yeah. Like, what else you got to live for? Yeah. You know. Facts. I think it's just always remaining curious and um, ambitious. Yeah. And, and oh. Being a radio presenter and like now working in TV and you know always interviewing people, what's like the one question that will get the person properly thinking about what you're asking? Like, what's the one question mm. that you go to when you want some sort of you know shift in the conversation? Mm. I'm not sure. I, I think the trick. It's not even a trick. I think. The goal is to, to be engaged. And I think when yeah. you ask someone how they are, you like you listen. Yeah. Mm. You know, like sometimes that's all it takes to, to be like, oh yeah, I feel like, oh, so so what happened? Yeah. yeah. You, know, mm. you fell off the bike and then what happened? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah. Cause it when I mean we all want to be listen, heard. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I yeah. think in an interview platform, 
you want to feel like the person is actually, listening to yeah. you. They actually care like, about what you're so saying. So you did this yeah. on, yeah, you yeah, sold yeah. this record, yeah. and then they answer it and you're like, then you go with the next <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And they're like, um, you want a bit of like answer. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, I think one of the things they teach you too is when you, after you say an answer, you go, oh, you, you mentioned that your dad used to listen to country music. Yeah. So mm. what kind of music was he listening to? Yeah, you know? yeah, mm. yeah. And then they kind of get deeper into yeah, it. Yeah. So, yeah, just being engaged and being yeah. present, not like, yeah, you bro. know, thinking too far yeah, ahead. Yeah, Because yeah. you know, I think bro. what people want, again, they just want to be heard and yeah. knowing that you're, I'm here, you're there, and you're engaged in yeah. the conversation Hard. with thousands of people yeah, mm, watching facts so, so you, you don't want to go too deep and then they end up bringing up their child trauma yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I, like, I didn't mean that part <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, you know, that sometimes I mean and and that would be like uh, full points to you for, yeah. For, mm, yeah. For, yeah. for them feeling that comfortable creating that yeah. space because yeah. 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 You, know, yeah. you always want to create a certain safe space yeah, with people, yeah for sure bro. You know, no, like they sure. don't have to tell the deep and darkest yeah. but feel yeah. like Oh yeah, I'm 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 gonna be open yeah, to I'm here, bro. Yeah, Facts, yeah, man. Yeah, hard, bro. It, like, has it been a, a time where you're like, oh shit, like I'm, I don't know what to do? <laughs> yeah. Probably not in interviews, but um, just in conversation. Oh yeah, you know. And I think because you do want to feel like again, like someone is being heard. Yeah. And when they open up to you, you kind of and there's been times where people have opened up a lot, and I'm like, oh shit. What do I say here? Like, you don't want to be like, oh yeah, cool. You know, you don't want to be insensitive, yeah. but at the same time, you, you know, like, if she left me, oh shit, oh, oh, oh so I love you, I love you. Anyways, what are you, are you watching the game or? <laughs> you know, like, it's oh, real meaningful what they're yeah. saying, and then you're like, like you're also like, how oh, is that? Um, yeah. like, oh, like, oh yeah, oh, that could never be me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, it's nah, hard, nah. but because you want them again, you want them to feel like you don't want them to feel like a dick for telling yeah, you. Yeah, too. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, hard, you want to just go too up far in there. Like, oh, no, I yeah, you know, yeah, I think, but it's also important to you know, this is going to be deep too, like set yeah. boundaries. Yeah, yeah. when yeah, people, sure. you know, like we you talked about the young fella that passed away, yeah. like mm. some people might want to talk to you about that, and mm. you're like, you ought to be like. I hear you, like, but uh, I'm not equipped mm, yeah, to deal with yeah. mm. what you are thinking uh, or how you, you know, how to deal with how you're feeling, uh, you know, because um, we we got to know that point too of mm. being like, maybe I'm not the person to yeah. talk to. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. maybe you should talk to someone. Hundred you know? percent, bro. I get yeah. that, bro. <laughs> yeah, because when that, I, bro? I was like, um. When I, I was a bit younger, obviously, and, and <laughs> I'm all laughs, but I yeah. always be all laughs, man. And I remember someone told me to go talk to someone, and I was like, I don't know what to say, bro. Like, I, I, what I did, just, why so, did they what was this that? situation? Oh, yeah. I was just having a hard time. Oh, okay. And, but like everything I did would just not put a smile on his face, bro. So I'm like, <laughs> oh, on the, the on, person on the you're talking to, was like, was he like a counselor or something, or no, no, like it was. A family member told oh. me to go talk to another family oh, yeah, member yeah. and it was it was pretty, oh, I was a friend, a yeah. family friend and I couldn't, uh, without, didn't like, you know, I didn't know what to say. So yeah. I was like, so did she leave you? <laughs> 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 I was trying to make it lighthearted, have a laugh. I was like, so did she cheat on you or what? <laughs> and then we just like, uh, like, yeah, she cheated. I was like, fuck, bro. Let's go have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you're know, sensitive, I, I, dude. No, but I, I, I learned from those those things, bro. Because, yeah, no. like you said, like some people aren't equipped with certain situations like yeah. that. They get put. Into you want to be there. You do as, as yeah. a person, yeah. as a friend, as a relative. Your heart's but, in the right yeah, place. Yeah, hey. but sometimes, like it's, it's. I mean, you might be dealing with your own shit mm. too, but also like you don't want to give them the wrong information as yeah. well. Yeah, you yeah. Know? like. Sometimes down the wrong someone path. yeah needs a professional yeah mm. to deal with it you know right. and again like it, that's important like you mentioned before like it's not weak mm. to speak mm. and I think we need to get rid of that um, stigma of coming across soft or yeah. like um, whenever we feel vulnerable you know we can't if someone wants to open up to you you can't be 
yeah, taking yeah, the yeah. cheap yeah. shots, yeah, 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 you know, because right. they're really reaching out yeah, to yeah, you. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta be conscious of yeah. a lot of that stuff. Facts, I was man. just thinking about like vulnerability the other day. Yeah, because I, I, I'm, I'm allowed to be real vulnerable mm. around my wife, mm. but for me, I can't really do it outside of that. Yeah. Like, well, how do you become vulnerable? But you within? are. You're very vulnerable, like at times. You reckon? Hundred percent. That like, that's one thing I love and respect about you. Bro. I feel like I I, I'm that. not as vulnerable as I want to be. Oh, you can't, obviously, you can't, know, can't can't I, I cried <laughs> about. I want you, you to hold me, like, bro. <laughs> hold me. <laughs> you keep telling to the hold wife. Hold me. back at you. Yeah. Hard. No, but do you, is that? Do you feel like you're not comfortable with that with the boys, or I don't know. I, or you don't know I how am. they're gonna react. Yeah. To apparently, like. Hundred percent, you are, bro. Oh, well, there's that's... been so many lessons and and things we've talked about where you've obviously put your experiences yeah. ahead and and said it to me, bro. I love that's what I love about you, bro. Man, Everyone says that. that on the body, bro. They're like, they're yeah. like, bro. Swanee is the big teddy bear. <laughs> 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 I love no, that, man. Yeah. You know, like my my son. You know, he's he's a big boy, right? Mm. But he's like gentle giant. I guess yeah. a lot of a lot of us are yeah. like islanders. You know, like grown men you know kids mm. in grown men's bodies um but he's like super sensitive and i think um it's important that we we nurture that oh, you yeah. know not kind of oh you know be a man you know, man mm. up man you know like yeah. that she doesn't help yeah you know if people like just makes it feel worse if anything mm. you know like 100. i think um you know yeah it's just important to, to be able to feel like you can talk to your yeah, close ones. Yeah. 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 How, how do you separate that from, all right, you're being too soft? Like, yeah. how would you? Because, you know. Yeah. I, I have that conversation again with my son, you know, like, because he is sensitive, mm. he, he'll have certain things that will work him up and he might cry. Yeah. Mm. Like, someone, like, said an offhand thing, nothing too serious. Like, just something like, ugh. It. You know, yeah, like yeah, you, yeah, you know, yeah. we do, ah, yeah, 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 and yeah. he will take it like, yeah, personally. Right, and I would yeah. be like, oh, he's, he's your friend, you know, he's just saying banter. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, there's other situations like, but again, it's just explaining to him like that it's okay to cry, yeah, mm. yeah. You're like, look, it's it's good to cry to get it out, mm. um, but you have, there are certain things that you can cry about yeah. that's worth crying about yeah. yeah like you miss your parents grandparents yeah. or yeah. someone passed away or something like that yeah, like yeah, yeah. just because you missed the bus it's not mm. it's not really that mm. worth it you yeah. know um because again i just don't want to beat beat that out of the kid mm -hmm. you know? like yeah I, I love that he's i mean don't get me wrong it sometimes it drives my wife and i like <laughs> insane because he just works gets worked up about something just yeah. like, <laughs> like don't worry about it but you know when I lie down, I'm like, man, I actually love that about him because yeah. he's yeah. where's his heart and yeah. he's sleep. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You know? And it's important that if, if, for you, Swanee, like to to be like that and set that example. And yeah. you know what? Like going back to the one four guys, that was hanging around with them and seeing them tell each other they love each other. Yeah, that was the first time I seen it with with. No, I wouldn't say grown man, but you know the twenties, yeah, 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 you know, like the and they're, they're like yeah. street guys, mm, mm. Yeah. but then they're like on the phone, yeah, what's up, yeah, love you, all right, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, and I yeah. was like, what? I mean, I would love my friends, but yeah. I probably would not never say it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. like hey, I do now, yeah. yeah. But just seeing that in that environment, I yeah. was like, yeah, I love that, yeah. you know, because mm. you do love them, and yeah. why not mm. say it? You yeah, know, yeah. and I think they've kind of figured out a way to say it. Without them feeling yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah, soft yeah, yeah. kind of those. I, mean, I think it's the <laughs> words. It's the words. But it's I mean, the words. You can't it's say the, love you. No, you can't say love you. Love you. But you can't say you can't say love you too. <laughs> I feel like that's it. Love you, you gotta put Love you, too. <laughs> but uh, you know that uh, I love that about him. You know, when I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love you, man. Love yeah. you. All right. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Yeah, man. I, I love that. I love to hear that. Yeah, yeah. Bro, we're suckers for that over here, Big bro. Time, man. Bro, sometimes it gets out of hand. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. No, I love you. You hang up. No, you hang up for us. <laughs> but that's, uh -huh. that's important, man. You know, yeah. even it's though it becomes a, 
like just the thing you say, yeah. mm. the sentiment of it is mm. still true. Yeah. yeah, you know you do. Oh, man, yeah. in, how many times have you seen relationships like father son or brothers or whatever? Someone passes away. It's like, man, I, I wish I told him I love him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? for sure. But now you're telling you, your boys yeah. you love them every day. Yeah, yeah. You know? Your parents. I even you know started because obviously I, I love my parents. But now it's like off the phone. Like, right, love you, mom. Yeah, love yeah. You, Andrew, you know, bro, that's one thing I, I noticed within myself, mm. like being moving away from home and that. Mm. So you say you, I love you to your family members more than you ever did, mm. Mm. especially bro. being away. Because I, I never told my, you know, I did, but like not all the time. Yeah, now you know, whenever I mean, it had to be a yeah a situation. Yeah, for yeah, you, like, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. And now I whenever you, I get off the phone, my brother <laughs> bails you out for some hundred percent. You know. <laughs> It's a like really major thing. Yeah. But now it's just like, oh, cool. Uh, uh, love, you, love you, Dad. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah hundred. Um, and I, you know, I, I love that. You know, I think because again, you know, I think growing up, especially me growing up in eighties and nineties, like you just had to be staunch all the time. Yeah. Mm. You know, I mean, it still is, mm. but at least now that the language is changing. Yeah. Like you are able to say that to your man. Yeah. You know, yeah. without everyone like, oh, yeah. what do you yeah. say? Like, <laughs> I don't. I love you. Love you. We say You know, I love to see that, bro. Yeah. Nah. Thanks, man. Let's see. Thank you, bro. Is there um before we wrap up? Is there anything you wanna let us know? What are you doing? Any up? Anything up and coming that you wanna um, let it be known to? You know, yeah, the just community. I'm doing what I do, man. Like again, I, you know, I mentioned that. TV and film stuff. Yeah, I love yes. kind of starting. Hey, to shout out in the Fale with yeah. one and only how we beast. Yeah, man. in the Fale is a show on ABC Radio, yeah. like a show that goes out to the Pacific. Yeah, which I love. Um, Sky High on Double J. Uh, still working with Forever Ever label like Becca Hatch and Juwan, you know, yeah, yeah. Woodsy oh, wow. and Kenzie. Yeah. So I, I, you know, again, it's just a lot of the same stuff, but I, I love it. You yeah. know, and. I'm looking to work with other artists and, you know, and shouts to everyone else in in those spaces too because that was one thing that I wanted to do as I started, you mm -hmm. know. Like, I wanted to, like, I didn't want to be the man, mm -hmm. you know. Like, I wanted to have men and women there as mm -hmm. well, like everyone. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I didn't want to be the, the guy, the only guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? um. Now I wanted to see walk into different spaces and see faces like ours. You yeah. Know? Hectic. You know, you see people like Lazy J doing his thing, Key, of course. And, mm. you know, just a lot of people just um, entering these spaces and workforces that traditionally weren't for us. Mm. And now it's starting to change. You Big know, time. Like podcasts with you guys. Yeah. You know, like, I love to see you, man. Yeah. The more brown faces, the better. Thank you, bro. Thank <laughs> you, man. man. Um, that's us, eh? Bro, what a potty, man. 100%, What man. a yarn. Hey, before we uh, head off, bro, if you need any content, music, podcasts, content again, bro, Trojan Studios, man. This is a studio sick. hit up. They got an Instagram page. Hit them up, man. Thank you so much for coming on Talk With. Guys, everyone, bro, you. this is the Go man, the myth, love, bro. bro. Show some love. Got to put uh, his socials in our description. We love you guys all. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, bro. Love from us, Bender Brothers. We out, baby. Let's go. Let's go.